Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of using Rive Animations with Play. In the first video we learned how to export Rive Animations, how to import them into Play and also how to dynamically change properties, for example by making the monster angry when we tap it. In this second video we're going to learn how to combine native elements and components to dynamically change the Rive Animation properties. Let's start. The first thing that we're going to actually do is use the semantic control to change the mood of the monster. If we go back to Rive, you're going to see that in this input, there is one call is happy. And this can be true if we activate it to turn the monster happy and off. We're going to control this with the semantic control inside play. So let's see how to do this. I'm going to minimize the Rive editor and with the semantic control selected, what I'm going to do is to go to interaction mode at the bottom of the app. By changing to interaction mode, if we click on this purple icon, then you're going to see that the first option is called semantic control event. We're going to press enter to add this node. Now, if we click on this event drop down, you're going to see that play is giving me a bunch of options, one of them being sec1 and the other being sec2. This means that we can do things whenever either the first one is activated or selected or the second one. So when the first is activated, what we're going to actually do is use again the set rive input action. So I'm going to click here and we're going to search for rive again and we're going to select the second option called set rive input. Pressing enter, it's going to ask me about a target. In this case, it's going to be my rive animation. So I'm going to click here and we're going to find in the layer list our rive animation, which is at the bottom. We're going to select the state machine to be the creature, which is the default one. And then for the input, you see that now they are listed and we're going to select is happy. When we do that, now there is a fourth property and the value can be on and off or true and false as it was in the arrive editor. So in this case, when it's in the first segment, when it's here normal, we're going to leave it as false. And in the second one, we're going to change it to true. So that way is happy will equal true. So, one little trick you could do is you can select the first node and then press Command D to duplicate it. Now you're going to be able to change the event to segmented number two. And we're going to actually change this value property to be on. Now, just by doing that, now we are able to tap and make the monster angry. We're going to be able to change and make it happy. And then if we go back to normal in the semantic control, then it's going to change its mood to the default one that it has. The next thing that we need to do is to actually use these radio buttons here to change the color of the monster. So we're going to go back to design mode and we are going to select the first radio button. This is a custom component that I've made that has two states, one where it's selected and another one where it's unselected or default. We're going to go to interaction mode and we're going to add a tap trigger. Whenever I tap on this button, I'm going to change to that first color. So we're going to follow the same approach as we did in the previous step. We're going to click here and we're going to use a tap trigger. Once we add this tap trigger, we're going to actually add another Rive input action. And now we're going to do the same as before. The select target is going to be our Rive animation. The state machine is going to be creature. And now the input in this case is going to be color. Now you notice that between the parentheses, uh, the Rive animation is telling me the type of input that there is. In this case, the color is a number that goes from one till three. So if we change the value from zero to be one, now whenever we tap on this element, it's going to have that default color, but we need to add it to the other ones. We can do this really easy. So for example, we can grab this and we can copy it by pressing Command C. We're going to go to the second radio button and then we're going to paste it. 
And now what we're going to actually do is change the value to be two, okay? So now if I select the second one, you can see that it's changing between the different colors. And now we need to do the same thing for the third one. So if I select my third radio button, we can paste by pressing Command V, and now we can change the number to be three. So now both the semantic control can be activated and then we can make the monster happy and we can also change its color in real time. The last thing that we need to do in this video is to actually implement playback controls to stop, restart and pause our Rive animation. I'm going to select this stop icon and then I'm going to go to interaction mode. Then I'm going to click on the purple icon to add a tap trigger. And then I can click again to add a Rive action. In this case, we're going to search for Rive, but we're not going to use set Rive input. We're going to actually use set Rive playback. This is an action that allows us to change the playback state of any Rive animation. The target again is going to be our Rive animation. And then playback has a bunch of options to play, pause, toggle, stop, and restart our animation. So in this case, we're going to press on stop. So whenever I tap on the stop button, it's going to pause or stop that specific Rive animation. If I select this again, and then I go into the pause button, I'm going to be able to go to interaction mode, paste it, and now I'm going to change this to be toggle. Toggle means that when I tap it, if it's playing, it's going to pause the animation. And if I tap it and it's paused, then it's going to be played again. So I can do that and it's going to pause the Rive animation and then it's going to play it again once I tap it. But we need to reflect this in the UI. How can we do this? Well, you can use a prefab that basically does something the first time you tap it and another thing the second time you tap it. So we're going to go into the prefabs tab. We're going to go into toggle tab and we are going to drag it into this specific button. Now what this does is the first time you tap it is going to set the opacity to 50% and the second to be 100%. But we don't want this. What we want is to actually change the pause uh, icon to the play icon. So we're going to select all this, remove it, and then we're going to click here on the plus sign. And then we're going to search for SF. And we're going to select the first option, which is set SF symbol. This is going to allow me to replace the SF symbol to any other. I'm going to press enter. And now it's going to allow me to change the SF symbol from pause to the play button, which is going to be here. And I'm going to search for play. We're going to do this one. And then we're going to change the replace animation. So we're going to turn this on. So that way it looks, it has a little bit of like a nice transition. Cool. Now we're going to duplicate this node and then we're going to drag it into the second part of the node where it says second tab. Now the second tab, we want to go back to the pause icon. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to search for pause and then we're going to select this second one. So now if I tap here, it's going to pause the right animation it's going to replace the pause icon with the play button. And now if I tap again, it's going to go back to normal and keep playing the right animation. So the last thing on this video is to take this node, copy it, select the restart icon, and then paste it. And now what we're going to actually do is we're going to change the playback from toggle to restart. Cool, so now we have everything working. We can tap on the monster to make it angry. We can change its mood to be happy. We can change its color. And we can also stop, play, and pause the Rive animation. And also have uh, that icon animation also inside the prototype. That is all for this video. We're going to keep making videos about Rive and play. So if you have any ideas, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.